despite having ruled the kingdom for seven decades, and there were still Brits who didn't know who Queen Elizabeth II was. In a newly unearthed report, the Queen was nearly denied entry to one of her favourite annual events, the Royal Windsor Horse Show, by a janitor who did not know she was the most famous monarch on the planet. The Queen has never missed the annual event since she was a child because it is held right near Windsor Castle. And in years gone by, it hasn't been unusual to see Her Majesty pop into the show and have a wander around. However, 30 years ago, the mother of four was met by a surprising refusal as the guard told her, Sorry, love, you can't come in without a sticker. The Queen was unfazed and replied, I think if you check, I will be allowed to come in. Sure enough, the Queen was allowed to enter the show. The amusing incident took place 30 years ago in 1991, according to Hello! magazine. The guard was later interviewed and admitted he thought Her Majesty was just some old dear who had gotten lost. This is not the first time the Queen has been overlooked, according to her former protection officer Richard Griffin, who worked for the Queen for over 30 years. In 2019, tourists failed to recognise the Queen as she went for a walk during a holiday at her summer home in Balmoral. In August of the year, it was revealed that a group of hapless tourists asked Her Majesty if she had ever met herself, after she went unrecognised during a low-key walk near Balmoral. Her former protection officer, Richard Griffin, told how the 93-year-old once went for a stroll in tweeds and a headscarf and looked so unlike her usual self, a group of American tourists failed to recognise her. Speaking to the Times, Richard said the Queen didn't want to blow her cover at the time. She went along with the tourists as they questioned whether she lived in the area, replying she had a house nearby. When they asked her if she'd ever met the Queen, her Madge slyly replied, no, but this policeman has, gesturing towards Mr Griffin, who has worked closely with the monarchy for more than 30 years, said the Queen was completely unrecognisable by the tourists, who were used to seeing the monarch in a bright array of colourful suits and hats. The Queen's youngest daughter-in-law, Countess Sophie of Wessex, once explained the reasoning behind her colourful outfit choices, revealing, Don't forget that when she turns up somewhere, the crowds are two, three, four, ten... 15 deep and someone wants to be able to say they saw a bit of the Queen's hat as she went past. She needs to stand out for people to be able to say, I saw the Queen. The Queen's trips to Balmoral Estate in Aberdeenshire, Scotland are a time when Her Majesty famously enjoys a more low-key way of life, donning Wellington boots and driving around the estate in a mud-splattered Land Rover. Balmoral Castle has been a residency of the British royal family since 1852. It sits on extensive grounds that cover an area of around 50,000 acres. As a working estate, it includes forestry and farmland as well as managed herds of deer, highland cattle and ponies. In other royal news, we tell you how the Queen was once given a fake arm during a walkabout and joked that it was just what she'd always wanted. The monarch was presented with this bizarre gift at a visit to an agricultural college during her 1970 tour of Australia. She was joined by her daughter, Princess Anne, who recounted the story in an interview with Michael Parkinson a decade later. Speaking on the Parkinson in Australia programme, Anne explained, The Queen went to an agricultural college and I went along for the ride. There were still one or two noisy students about in those days. It was the end of the 60s. There was this slightly noisy group on our arrival and we all thought, I wonder what they're up to. Three of them pushed out of the crowd with this hand. It was a sort of stuffed glove, for want of a better expression, and joint. And these three presented it to the Queen and I think they thought they were being rather daring and rather cheeky. The Princess Royal went on to reveal her mother's rather unexpected reaction to the unusual gift. She continued, The Queen took it from them and said, Thank you very much. It's what I've always wanted. Their faces literally dropped because that wasn't quite the reaction that they'd expected. And of course, it is exactly what she's always wanted when you're sat, you know. Anne can then be seen miming the Queen's famous royal wave before Michael asks if she had ever used the arm. Somehow it got lost, the Princess Royal replies. Somebody's sense of humour didn't stretch as far as us. We've never seen it again. The princess then asked the students to make them another arm if they are tuned in. 
Plus, let me tell you about the Queen's amazing restraint as she faced a historian's cheeky comment. Hugo Vickers, a royal historian, has devoted his time to researching the life of the 96-year-old monarch in order to pay homage to her by uncovering previously unknown aspects of her life and examining some of the most iconic incidents from her historic reign. The biographer for the 20th century, who has a personal relationship with the Queen, was involved in the planning of the Platinum Jubilee as well as numerous of her other jubilees. Mr Vickers recalled making a cheeky remark to the Queen at an event in London, and he remembered how she exhibited incredible restraint over his quip. He made these remarks when speaking to the UK's Express newspaper. I remember once, outside of Canada House, she came to unveil a panel he stated. Vincent Massey participated in the panel discussion. He was the first Canadian Governor-General in Canada and is remembered as the legendary Canadian High Commissioner here in this country. And I said to her that I knew she wanted to make him a Knight of the Garter. I said, and I knew that she wanted to do that. And the Canadians wouldn't let her and all she could do was smile because she knew it was right. And the Canadians simply wouldn't let her. He added, she didn't say anything else. Afterwards, she thought it was rather cheeky of me to say that because, after all, she was right outside Canada House. And the Canadian Governor-General of the day was standing more or less next to her, so she couldn't exactly say anything, could she? There is this incredible restraint. She just keeps her counsel, which is amazing. As 1952, in one of his final acts as king before passing away, George VI appointed Massey as the Governor-General of Canada. This was one of George VI's final acts as king before he passed away. In 1957, when the Queen and Prince Philip were invited to visit the Canadian capital of Ottawa, the Queen had the opportunity to meet a Canadian official. During the course of the visit, a photograph was shot showing Massey's dog with a pocketbook belonging to the Queen in its mouth. The official even used the rare snap of his moment with the royal couple on his Christmas card. During the plaque unveiling for Massey, Mr Vickers claimed the Queen's response to his joke was typical of her controlled demure when speaking in public. He said, I think she can say a lot in private, which she doesn't say in public, and I think there she has been terribly lucky, because on the whole, with one or two exceptions, David Cameron and people, she hasn't really been betrayed, whereas Prince Charles has quite often been betrayed by people. People have let the world know what he is thinking. They've stolen his diaries and published his letters and things like that. In her leadership of the royal family, the Queen is often said to have lived by the mantra, never complain, never explain. Mr Vickers explained that although the Queen is careful with what she says in public, he also knows her to have a cheeky sense of humour. He said, she hears everything, sees everything, she is completely on the ball, and she quite enjoys catching people out. I think she and Prince Philip enjoyed that enormously. One of her favourite questions, which she asked with good theatrical timing, is, Are you sure? Well, you better be.